I just broke up with my ex because all she want to do is take vacation and go out every weekend. Now she's throwing all my hard times in my face, man. But see, Khalil, this is something that a lot of females have been able to do so long, so long, so long. Females have been able to um, talk badly about you to make you feel bad enough to do whatever they wanted you to do in the first place, right? So I'll throw up in your face, oh, you broke, and you don't never do nothing in. You know, if you was a real man, you would be able to cash out, and you'd be able to fly me out, and you would be able to take me on different vacations when I wanted to. And what that would usually do is make you go into grind mode and hustle mode. Like, oh, I got to prove her wrong. Oh, I got to do this for her because she said I was broke. And I got to do this for her because she said I'm, I'm not no real man unless I'm able to do this. But now y'all like, bitch, fuck you. That's disrespectful. Men are raising the bar on their respect. That's ultimately what all of this boils down to. Thank you, uh, Mr. Maurice. You can't trust the soft girl era. Bad investment. Lord have mercy. But see, here's the thing, though, Maurice. This is them trying to kick it into a new gear. Right? Because, you know, I, I, we got to figure out a, a different and new and improved manipulation tactic. Let me get into this bag in order to finesse. Right? We can hit 600. I like the video. Because now men are like the previous uh person and, and, and they're like, I'll, I'm going to leave. I'll leave you. If you're going to try to disrespect me in order to try to get some out of me, I, I would rather leave. My, my respect, my peace, my comfort is worth way more than just having a female. Fuck that. I need a return on my investment. You're not going to guilt trip me into doing shit for you. You're not going to try to um, talk badly about me to get me to do good for you. No, that, that's out the window. And again, that was never supposed to happen, which is why you're seeing more and more of these females try to tap into new avenues in order to finesse. But the thing is, ladies, here's the thing, ladies. Thank you so much, uh, Omni Rama. Some of these uh, 304s are just for practice. Men are waking up. Hear me out, though, Omni Rama. These females. Hear me out. These females don't understand that even trying to play a role like having a soft girl era, whatever, trying to get heavy into the whole uh, feminine bag and, you know, play on the male's nature. They are missing the key ingredient of, I need to know that you're able to do for me. Hear me out. I need to know that you're able to do for me. Yeah, that's cute that you know how to turn on a soft voice. And yeah, that's cute that you're learning not to be too combative or confrontational. Yeah, that's cute. That you are trying to be more dainty, whatever, that's cute. But what are you willing to do for me? What do I get out of you? Men brought it all the way back to what do you bring to the table? A question that females hate and women love. As a matter of fact, when it comes to women, a man would never, hear me out. When it comes to women, a man would never have to even ask, what do you bring to the table? You see it. You feel it. You know it. You have already reaped the benefits of what I bring to the table. But these females trying to play a role, they still are not bringing anything. They still offer nothing of significant value outside of, oh, well, I, I'm more feminine now. Yeah, you, you sound cute. Yeah, cute little dress, cute little act. Yeah, but again, let's go back to this right here. What do I get? 
And a lot of them don't have anything. And since so many of you guys are no longer waiting around to figure out what do I get, this has these females shaking in their boots, trying to scramble, figuring out, oh, well, how can I do this? How can I, how can I finesse this? How can I get over on that? He's not even waiting around no more. See, what the soft girl era was supposed to do, right, was have you guys get back into the chase. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You were supposed to get back into the chase now. See, at first, I was able to just play the whole hard to get. Yeah, I'll give you attitude, and I'll make you chase me, and I'll make you try to show and prove your value to me by maybe talking shit to you or talking like, oh, you ain't really all of that. Again, trying to get you to chase, show and prove. Let me, let me, she said, I'm this. Let me show her that I'm not type energy. But now that you guys are like, oh, fuck that. I'm not doing all of that. Now I have to get you to chase by way of me um, playing on the fact that so many of you guys have been missing that key ingredient of having a feminine woman in your corner, having a feminine woman in your life. Right? Oh, I never had a woman, you know, to be so dainty, whatever. I never had a woman to be so soft-spoken. I, I never had a woman to, you know, oh, man, let me chase that because maybe it's something more behind that. Right? Well, I'm showing you that I, I have some feminine qualities. I'm showing you that I'm not like these loud, combative, uh, confrontational females. Come chase me to try to see what, what more is behind this door. And men are like, no, fuck that. No, no. You either are able to show and prove what you're able to do, what you're able to offer, up front or no, I'm not doing all of that. Again, that's a problem. You're not waiting around anymore. The wait is over. The chase is over. The begging is over. The being strung along is over. I need a return. And before I even make an investment, before I even make an initial investment, I have to know that I'm going, what I'm getting into. I have to already Feel it. I have to already have reaped some kind of benefit up front. It's not this whole thing of, oh, well, you know, I think this is a good investment, so let me just go ahead and do it. And maybe if I invest, you know, good enough into it and long enough into it, I'll finally get some out of it. No. The reason why I'm making the, the initial uh, investment in the first place is because I already got something and I liked it. And I want more of it. So let me continue to invest in it so I can continue to get more of it. Not investing in, and then waiting and wishing and hoping. No. I'm investing into this because I already know what it's about. I already know this is wife type. I already know this is on some queen shit. I already know that. Based upon what she's already done for me. I hope y'all following me. Put a seven in the chat if y'all following your little big sis. I hope y'all are. Thank you, Theo. I gave nearly unlimited time and attention. I looked at this objectively and saw the women were only taking without any changes. Mm. Redirected the money towards myself. Salary increased to 125000 And I ceased giving to women. Hear me out. Hear me out, y'all. I see all the sevens. I see all the sevens. Hear me out, you guys. This, what Theo is talking about is exactly what so many other men are doing, right? So many women were banking. I can't even say women. It's a difference, okay? If you're a woman, I'm not talking about you. It's females, okay? So many females have been banking on men like Theo in the past, Coming through like, oh, well, let me just, I think this is a good thing. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Fuck no. 
you either are going to show me what I'm investing into or I'm out. Right? It really goes back into the whole, um, thank you, Dexter. Thank you, King Adams. I appreciate y'all. Hold on. Let me say this, you guys, though. It really goes into the whole don't be a wife to a boyfriend. Right? Thank you, Tay Biz. Just want to show uh, love and joy in the content. I appreciate you. Thank you. It really goes into the whole uh, don't be a wife to a boyfriend narrative, right? You know, if he's not your if, if, if he's not your husband, you don't go out there cooking for him. If he's not your husband, you don't go out there uh, being understanding and patient with him. You don't go out there having sex with him. You don't go out there loving him. You don't go out there doing anything that a wife would do, right? And to certain degrees and levels, absolutely. It, there's always going to be boundaries and limitations, right? However, a lot of the females were taught to really be selfish and to really be these high demanders, if you will, without requiring or giving, I should say, back into the man at all. So the man is just like pretty much doing everything a husband would do while the girlfriend or this female, right? Because a lot of them are not even female. I mean, not female, but not even your girlfriend. But they're requiring these things, right? In order to be your even your girlfriend, right? And so they're like, look, I'm not doing all of this, but I expect you to be like a husband, right? And so you investing to me and you giving to me to show and prove your value to me as a husband, and then maybe one day, someday, I'll give you wifely duties. Thank you, uh, Just Bad Music. It really boils down to this. Men are no longer going to provide for a financial, uh, provide financially for women who disrespect them. Believe it or not, even Simp Lollipoppies are feeling like this. It's over with, sis. It, it, just Bad Music. You think I don't know this, big brother? Okay, do you think I don't know? That's why I'm having this dope discussion, right? We can hit 600, y'all. Y'all give us um, 556 likes. So many more men are waking up, right? Even the Scent Molly Poppies. I understand that just bad music. But my whole thing is, I'm going to be real enough to acknowledge the fact that there's always going to be Scent Molly Poppies, unfortunately. Just like it's always going to be uh, GMO females. It's always going to be some hoes. It's always going to be bitches. It's always going to be... like it, 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 some, some things are going to always be. However, the numbers are dwindling down. This is what we did not anticipate. We did not want. Right? So I'm not going to say it's completely over. But hell. Ho ho hold. Hold on. But... But it's going to make it a lot more complicated and difficult because you're not going to have as many men that are going to be easily manipulated, controlled, or finesse. Right? So we're used to just having it our way. Like, no, I don't have to be your wife. I don't have to do anything for you. However, I still expect you to do everything for me. And then if you invest long enough or good enough, maybe one day, someday I'll treat you like you're my husband or I'll do wifely things for you. Right. But men are like, look, I'm not even making any investment to you until you show and display to me that you are wifely material. I'm not I'm not giving you one red cent. I'm not giving you one minute. I'm not giving you anything until I see and I know for a fact that you are able to do these things, that you are doing these things actively. And I'm not saying that the men are just expecting y'all to just go out there on the first day and just do everything and bow down to them and get them your credit card numbers and put shit in their names and, you know, bust it wide open and then, and then bring it back. They No, 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 no. But we got to be real enough to say this. They are expecting you to open up in some way, shape or form to where they know what they're getting involved in. So men are now like, look, 
before I start treating you like a wife or, or doing things for you like a wife, right? I need to know that you're ready and willing to do those things for me to begin with. I need to see that you are actively doing these things. Let me give an example because I, I really want to hit this home. Let me give an example. So my ladies can understand. Again, y'all, y'all drop down, give us 600. When a man is taking a fancy, okay, if you will, to a woman, let's say that the conversation is going good and he likes the vibe. He's enjoying you. He will then see if you are the type of woman that he's looking for by way of your actions, not just what you say. Yeah, the conversation, that's the entry. Seeing where your mind is, seeing if we are compatible mentally, emotionally, if we have the same goals, if we're in the same on the same path, headed in the same direction. Yeah, the conversation, that's the that's the opening piece. Once we have it, once we have it established that you are into me and I'm into you, and now it's time to start showing and proving things, right? Because I'm not going to waste my time. So now, once we have the conversation and we establish that connection, now I need to see what kind of woman you're about by way of what you're able to do. So let's say in the beginning, he notices that you cook for him. And I know, ladies, this sounds like such a pick me, male identified whole type of conversation, right? Let's just, just please follow me. This is what your great granny was doing. That you, you, you don't want to be now. I, well, I'm a modern woman. See, your great grannies, they was out here establishing connections with the men and then showing and proving that, look, I'm a wife by, by way of opening up in different ways to that man to let him know that I'm a wife. She was cooking for that man. Oh, I, I, you want to you wanna stop by for dinner or, you know, something. Like, it, it's something that has to be put out there to let that man know, oh, this is a good one. This is a good investment. Because look at what she's able and ready and willing to do. Whatever that may be. Whatever that may be. And I'm not even, let's not even just take it to sex. Because a lot of y'all, I'm going to be real. A lot of y'all would like to try to downplay the men today and say, oh, they're just all about that. They just want us to just be hoes so bad, but then they condemn the hoes, but then they're telling us that they're not going to invest into us and, and, unless we show and prove that we hoes. No. Nope. It's a new and improved man today. Men don't even want your, your boxes. No. Mm -mm. That's too easy these days. Y'all have devalued sex so much, men don't even fucking want it. They are rejecting that shit. It's like, uh. Skirt. Yeah, that's cool and all, but what are you about? Sex is played out. Y'all think I'm lying? I'm not. My brother's all in my damn DMs, all in my damn email. Like, sis, I, I want something more than that. And these women these days, that's all they feel like they, they can give a man and that should make us want to do everything for them. I'm sorry, sis, but I need more than sex. That shit, that shit weak, sis. That's what my brother's telling me. My brother say that shit weak. Play out. Ah, I can get that any day. I can that shit weak, and I can get that any day of the week. I need something more. I need a woman that can show and prove that she's selfless. She can go out of her way to make sure that maybe I I feel appreciated. Right? It can be little things. That speak values to a man, but again, it's the action, it's the initiative that's the missing link. Are y'all following me? The initiative is missing. 
We're not doing anything. A lot of y'all are so used to not doing anything and having the man offer you everything. And men are like, that's dead. That's how I got used in the past. That's how I got taken advantage of in the past. Finesse, manipulated, con controlled, strung along in the past. I ain't doing that shit no more. She needs to do something to let me know, yeah, that's a good investment. I need some kind of initial. Again, it's the initiation. And if you're not ready and willing to do that, you already exposed your hand. If you're on some, well, I'm not going to be no wife to no boyfriend type energy. When that's the whole reason you're able to become a wife in the first place is by showing and proving that you are wife type. Sorry, sis. Before you, before a man proposes to you, you're going to have to do some things beforehand to let him know that, oh, this is a good wife. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know how else to put it. You're going to have to cook first. You're going to have to bust it open first. You're going to have to uh, show submission, uh, submissive qualities first. You're going to be respectful for like all of that comes before the ring, even before the relationship. I have to, I have to know. I hope, I hope they don't come off wrong. I can already just hear them. Oh my God. She's telling us to cheapen ourselves and to just give it all away. And that's how the men be using us. No, 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 no. Because on your end, ma'am, you need to be scoping out the men. That's our problem. Our problem is we, we don't really um, take enough time as women to really get involved and see what the man that we're dealing with is about. We're so also used to just going based upon, oh, well, he looks like this and he drive this kind of car and he this and he that. And so we'll, we'll give it a, we'll give everything away to a man that ain't about shit just because he meets some superficial qualities. Right. But how many of y'all are really sitting down and analyzing the man's quality? The quality of his character, what he's about, what he's made of, what he's actively doing. You can't go wrong that way, sis. The same way y'all are expecting men to do things for you, you have to do the same thing. Well, I got to see what he's about first before I make that kind of commitment or I start doing these type of things. Same thing for you. And this is what the men are starting to do and realize. They're like, look. I'm not, I'm no longer going to continue to go out here, let it all out there, thick on the line. And, um, the woman is just ripping all of the reward while I just sit around and wait to reap something. No, I need to return. I need something. I need something on the table to where I know what I'm getting into. Just like this woman needs the same thing. So that's the difference. The difference is ladies. Now you're required to do something first, just like those men. Cause the men are now like, I'm not being a husband to a girlfriend. Uh oh. I'm not being a boyfriend to a female. She got to show and prove to me that she's worthy of that. If I'm expected to be a boyfriend quality or, or the boyfriend type and get boy and give her boyfriend treatment. I need to show, I need her to show and prove to me that she is the girlfriend type by giving me girlfriend type treatment. Are oh, y'all yeah, following me? So that shit is done. It's absolutely done. It's out the window. <laughs>